Hey Kindergarten Panthers, Mrs. Branham here today. I have a really good story to read for you today. I'm going to show you the front cover of my book and the back cover of my book. And the title of my story is called Armadillo's Orange, okay? And so this is an animal right here called an armadillo. And this is his orange right here. And we're going to read about what happens in this story today. But I want you to try to make a prediction, okay? What do you think this story might be about? Now, I also want you to look, you know, just by looking at the pictures, I can already kind of tell that this is going to be a make-believe story, okay? This story is make-believe. It's not real. It couldn't really happen, but it's fun to read about. And these are called fiction stories, okay? So, this is called Armadillo's Orange. Now, the author is Jim Arnosky. He wrote this book, and guess what? He's also the illustrator, too. So remember, the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures, okay? All right, we're going to get started. While we're reading today, I want you to think about the setting of this story. Remember, the setting is where the story happens. And I also want you to listen for the problem. There's going to be a problem in this story, and I want you to think about how they fix it. All right, so let's get started. I open up my book and I come to my title page right here and then we're ready to read. At the edge of an orange grove, a young armadillo dug a burrow in soft sandy soil. Close by lay a big round orange that had fallen from its tree. The orange made it easy for armadillo to find his brand new home. So look, where did Armadillo find his home? Yeah, he found his home in the burrow in the ground, okay? And you know, animal homes, remember shelter is a need for animals. And so we're gonna be learning all about the different types of homes that animals have, okay? And those are called habitats. So this is the, the Armadillo's habitat, habitat. He lives in a burrow in the ground, okay? So let's get started. Each day, Armadillo left his burrow to hunt for insects and grubs to eat. He followed a narrow path that wound its way around the tangled stems of plants and trees. So he's going out today to look for food. Every time he walked the winding path, Armadillo passed a lively green snake climbing on a branch. But Armadillo never looked up. He just hurried on by. See the green snake? Down the path, a shy rattlesnake was coiled up in the big shade of the drooping leaves. But Armadillo quickly waddled by, looking only straight ahead. Then, an old, slow-moving tortoise crossed the path. Armadillo had to stop and wait. He shuffled his feet impatiently until the tortoise passed. He hurried onto a fallen tree where he could dig in the rotting wood for his tasty grubs. See all these little things right here? Those are the grubs that he likes to eat. A scrub jay called out in its loud, raspy voice. Armadillo closed his ears. Honeybees buzzed by on the way to their hive. Armadillo covered his face with his long claws. When the other animals had finally gone, Armadillo gobbled up every grub that he could find. Then he rushed back down the path. When he saw the big round orange, he knew that he had made it back home. Every day was the same. But one day, a sudden gust of wind blew through the grove. The wind pushed Armadillo's orange just enough to make it roll down the hill into a weedy ditch. Oh no! Without that orange, what's going to happen? He's not going to know where his burrow is, is he? When Armadillo returned, he could not find his burrow. He walked and he walked, looking for the orange that marked the entrance to his home. Everything seemed strange and wrong 
with the big round orange gone. Armadillo wandered, lost and all alone. Then suddenly, he smelled the scent of honeybees and he saw the slow moving tortoise crossing the path. Together, Armadillo and Tortoise watched the honeybees buzz by. Then, Armadillo heard the scrub jay in its loud, raspy voice. He followed the sound, and soon he came upon the shy rattlesnake. Then, when Armadillo looked up, he saw the lively green snake on a branch. Armadillo smelled and heard and saw all these things, and he knew that he was close to home. Armadillo missed the big round orange shining brightly near his home, but with neighbors living all around, he didn't need it anymore. The end. So, Mrs. Brenham asked you to think about the setting of this story. Tell your family what the setting of this story was. Where were they? They were in an orange grove. Yes, that's where this story happened. And Armadillo lived in a burrow in the orange grove. Now, Mrs. Brenham also asked you to think about the problem. What was the problem in this story? Yeah, the orange rolled away one day and then he couldn't find his way back home. But how did he solve it? Well, he started looking at the things around him. He saw his neighbors and he followed those things to get him back home. I bet where you live, there may be some familiar things around, like maybe you live close to a post office. Maybe you live close to a barn. Think about the things that are close by outside of your house. And those could be things to help you find your way home sometimes or to give people directions to your house if they were coming to visit you. So Armadillo, he found a way to get back home. He looked at all the things around him and he found his way. I hope you have a wonderful day.